Welcome to episode three of the ATS Gear Show. I'm Kenny. And I'm Wes. And today we're taking a look at a wireless guitar system. That's right. Our friends over at Mephi sent us a compact wireless system for guitar and bass called MF5G in exchange for a review of their product, which we're happy to do. Now, you heard the unit at the beginning of the episode. During the episode, we'll play what we played at the beginning, but we'll AB the wireless unit against a cable and see which one sounds better. So let's get over to our in-house voice artist and have her tell us a little bit more about this system. Annie, damn it, tell us what you got going on over there. The Mephi 5.8 gigahertz wireless transmitter and receiver designed for musical instruments like guitar and bass is a high quality unit with a 24 bit 48 kilohertz sample rate, low interference and professional sound quality. It boasts 5.6 MS latency and 30 meters distance. The unit has a built-in rechargeable 1100 mAh battery. With up to 8 hours playing time, you'll be back to wowing your nephew or your girlfriend in Canada in no time. The Mephi transmitter and receiver. It wirelesses. God, wireless. Thank you, Annie, for that inspiring information. Now, I'm just getting my hands on this unit for the first time today and really getting a chance to try it. You, on the other hand, have had a few days, maybe a week or so, to give it a try. Why don't you tell us your first impressions? Well, when you first dropped it off and opening it up, I noticed that it had really great packaging. Really nice packaging. That was spot on. Pulled it out, plugged it in, and it wirelesses. It does what it says it's supposed to do. I do, however, think that it colors your tone. In what way? I think it adds a high shrillness, a just... A cheap sound to your tone. It has a cheap sound to your tone. Yeah, I think I agree with that. When we played earlier, when I was playing it over the intro of the uh, show, I noticed that it almost makes your tone, it sort of saps your tone of all of the body and, and creates a real um, almost grainy texture. Yep. And I found that interesting. Uh, you know, the units themselves also, they're, they're compact, at least that's the name, but they're really not that compact. I mean, if you look in the, the butt of this guitar here, this is quite an obtrusive object. It's not yeah, very pretty. Sticking out of there. Yeah, and it doesn't, maybe it works better on a Les Paul and maybe you can fold it up the side or something. No, not really. No. no. Well, on the Strat, it's, yeah, it's not good either way. And um, and they're just, they're, they're, they are very light, I will say that. But I can't imagine that something that is this light is going to be something you're going to want to trust your tone in right. a live show. I have a Line 6 wireless unit, and the unit itself, it's a rack unit. The rack is heavy. The belt transmitter that it has is, you can tell, it's really solid made. It's very heavy duty. These things feel like if you put too much pressure on it, you might snap it in half. It's like wafer thin and sort of maybe cheap feeling. Yeah, a little bit. I agree. It'd be nice if we had something we could weigh it with. How much do you think it weighs? Whoa. Man, why do you have a scale? Sometimes I like to weigh small things. Hmm. Suspect. Well, anyway, let's weigh this thing, shall we? 51.9 grams. 51.9, that's what? An ounce and a little over a quarter? You would know. It's not bad, though. It's not bad as far as weight goes, but it is made of... Plastic. It is made of plastic. Um, and, you know, I noticed that the way this hangs out of the guitar, I got to say, if I was to play a gig with this, I am 100% sure that the first gig I played with this, I would snap this thing off and or break the jack on my guitar. Yep. It either hangs like that, or if you try to fold it, it just sort of spins around constantly while you move. It's yep. really, it just wants to spin around like this. It's, uh, yeah, this would not, I, I know how clumsy I am at times. Yeah, right. I would 100% break this first time I ever used it. I mean, it. the jack tip is nice and metal, but then it goes into this elbow that's, that's just incredibly plastic. Yeah, very cheap feeling plastic. Very, very cheap feeling plastic. But it does wireless. It does wireless. I think that it colors your tone probably a little more than I would prefer. Mm -hmm. And we're going to check that out. Maybe this would be a unit for like a home wireless if you just want to 
sit on your couch and play while the amp is across the room. And you don't but, really uh, care what the tone is per se. You're yeah. just happy to not have a cable attached to you. Right. So far, my first impression is that this is not, and maybe it's not intended to be, but it doesn't look or feel or sound like a professional audio grade quality no. piece of equipment. Let's try it out. Let's do it. Try it. Cut. <laughs> Yo, cut a little soup. All right, dude, so let's do a distance test and see how far this thing can go. Yeah, let's do it, man. Let's see how far it can go. I'm going to uh, put a strap on. On. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to put a strap on and head out the front door, and we'll see how far it can go. Hold on, man. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, and I'll just sit here with my face in my shirt. All right, man, let's do it. The front door is, what, about 10 feet away? Probably. We'll start there and... Walk out and see what happens. See what And here is a sound test of this wireless system by Methy. This is uh, going to go wireless first, and then we'll do a cable run and see uh, what the difference is. Here's the wireless audio sound. <laughs> thing man if it's uh something else we have going here um i'm running through this boss digital metalizer mz2 pedal which i use at home and i love it's a great pedal you've heard it yep. at home uh, at my house and it sounds great um here though this the wireless seems to make everything you play even through a good tube amp sound like you're playing through a <laughs> solid state amp <laughs> and that's not good that's not good that's not good Convert your old tube amp, your old rusty tube amp, to a solid state amp for only $60. $60. Maybe it's made for a wireless. I think this is probably geared for like a. I think it's. I think it's more maybe like a gimmick. You know what I'm saying? Like, you want to be wireless, but you don't want to pay hundreds of dollars to be wireless, and you're only going to be playing at home to your cat. Yeah. So. You go, all right, I get this cheap. It's not real great. It's no. not real great. I agree. But maybe maybe it's just us, dude. Let's plug maybe. a cable in. And yeah, see. let's check it out. Let's plug in a cable, play the same thing, see if there's any difference in the tone. I like it. Let's do it. All right, dude. Let's uh, hear the cable and see what that sounds like. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. There's a difference. <laughs> There's such a difference. Yeah. Um, all of that, like, high-end grit. There's like a grit that happens when you're using the wireless that uh, makes everything just sound like, like we said earlier, very grainy. Yep. It's not there. Well, I mean, there you have it. You we have a are- bonus this week, though. Let's not forget about the bonus. You bonus you. We have a bonus. Last week, we decided to use uh, our new lapel mics to record our first episode with them. And unfortunately, the whole experience left a lot to be desired. So we decided to do a quick review this week of the you mic available on Amazon. You mic, you horrible bitch. Roll the footage. Well, there you go. You guys heard it. There you go. What do you say we wrap this thing up, huh? I'm about it. All right, man. So it is what it is. It is a wireless system. It does do wireless. Not very well. Not very far. It doesn't sound very good. But it does wireless. Yeah, I think, you know, it it, it is wireless. You're right. Um, but I don't know how well it's designed for doing this kind of high fidelity audio. Like we mentioned before, maybe if you're at home or something or you're playing through a little solid state practice amp. But it almost feels like they kind of took the innards of a just an old cordless Quarter phone, phone channel and changing just, and just plugged it into a quarter inch adapter and made a wireless unit out of it. There's nothing really about it that screams professional grade audio. I would never use it at a gig. Uh, <laughs> no. If I was like 14 and I had some money in my pocket from Taco Bell, I might have bought it to impress my mom by going in there and playing in the kitchen and be like, look what I can do, mom. Play into your cat. Play into my cat. But that's about it. Uh, you know, with that being said, though, do you have any positive thoughts about it? It was 60 bucks. I mean, you can be wireless for 60 bucks. It was nice packaging. It wirelesses. It does wireless. 60 bucks, if it's you cheap. don't know, if you're not familiar with wireless units, is pretty cheap. I mean, my Line 6 unit was 325 or so. And that was used. That was used. But a, a better quality unit than that can run into the thousands. So um, yeah, 60 bucks is cheap. It's cheap, but you get what you pay for. It's it grainy. Wirelesses. It's grainy. It makes my tone sound like a solid state amp. I wasn't a big fan of it. But none of that should matter because you could own this very wireless very unit one. from the show. Subscribe to our channel today between now and our Christmas episode, and we'll choose one lucky winner to go home with this amazingly shitty wireless unit. We will send it to you on our dime for free. It's yours. It's yours. You can play to your cat and your mom. Let's wrap this up again. Again. We hope you enjoyed our show this week. Stay tuned next week when we review a digital delay pedal that Joyo has graciously offered to send us to review here on the show. And if you like our videos, please hit the like button and subscribe for a new video every week. We're half drunk, half stoned, but fully reviewed. That was it. As the week. Do you end with like a funny break?